What's going on guys, Cecil here. Welcome to the beautiful world of Minecraft. Today I'll show you how to get infinite diamond in this game. Yes, in survival. You'll be able to get infinite diamond in survival. So basically if you're playing survival or hardcore or any mod where you are not allowed to go to creative and cheat or whatever, you can still get the infinite diamond in it. It's gonna be kind of hard, but it's doable. So without further ado, let's get right to showing you how to get infinite diamond in this game, which is obviously the most important thing you could possibly do in survival. So uh, yeah, let's get right to it. All right, I'm gonna show you right here because there is enough space for me to do stuff around here so yeah let's do it here or right, the first thing i want you to do is to press f3 and g together now this is going to uh you know uh divide minecraft into a bunch of square chunks now what these square chunks are uh, are basically the square chunks are when minecraft saves the game it doesn't save the entire world as a whole no it's uh, it saves each square on its own that's and that's the method we're going to abuse in order for us to get infinite diamonds so basically what i'm gonna do now is to get myself a plate or anything it doesn't matter and i just need to mark the ending of this square chunk right here there i've marked the endings of this square chunk so i know exactly where the border of the square chunk is now let me explain to you something this square chunk has a limitation the amount of things it can save in one square chunk now basically it is uh, programmed to make the limitation up to as if there is a single tree in every single one of these blocks up to 15 meters high or something but we're gonna get even above that you know we are going to make it even more uh, uh, carrying even more than this amount of stuff which is a tree every single block that's 15 meter high we're gonna go above that i'm gonna explain to you how in a second but anyways let's just clear this grass a little bit what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna place three chests right here and then one chest let's say over here for an example there are three chests inside the square chunk and one chest has to be outside the square chunk any any place is gonna matter it can be closed but just it needs to be outside the square chunk and in a square chunk on its own then get yourself two books and quills actually you will need a ton of books and quills for this method to work now all i want you to do is to tap out of the game the game is right there but we're tapping out and hey look it's me go to google chrome or any web browser and type chinese keyboard and press enter go to the first one it doesn't matter type random stuff but make sure they're all japanese Japanese, like don't for example write in the middle a comma or a semi comma or whatever no just type it all Japanese stuff there we go it's Chinese not Japanese whatever and let's take all of that and copy it Control C then go back to the game right click the book and quill to open it and save this now obviously it's not gonna fill all so just copy it and paste it again then remove this last uh, you know uh, sentence or whatever and then go to the sentence right here and just copy this last one and enter and paste this last one now you got a full page of Chinese these letters now copy everything in that page right here and then go here and paste it and go here and paste it basically you will need to do this just paste it control v all over the place it doesn't take time repeat this until you have 60 pages of chinese random letters 60 pages of all chinese uh, random letters they're all identical but it doesn't matter and then click sign and call it number one and sign in and close and that's it now tab out of the game again and then remove everything you wrote and write something different and make sure you try to move your fingers a little bit differently in the keyboard so that it's not exactly identical of course it's one out of a trillion chance for it to so that you would write the same exact thing that you wrote before but you can't be too careful you gotta be extremely unlucky if you wrote the same exact thing you wrote before like come on i always copy that new sentence and go back to minecraft go to the second book and quill and open it and then paste this and then copy all that and paste it again we still have the last uh, line just remove it copy that last line right here or any random line it doesn't matter okay there we go and then paste it down here there we go then copy the entire page copy and then go right here paste 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 and repeat this again there you go 60 pages of chinese letters and sign name it number two sign in and close now you will need a ton of book and quills now that's the expensive part about this method all these book and quills are gonna cost you to craft them book and quills are not that hard to craft actually you'll need a book an ink sack and a feather align them like like that and you'll get the book and quill but crafting that many books and quills is actually kind of expensive you will need exactly 50 books and quills for this method to work so 50 books 50 ink sacks and 50 feathers so good luck uh, collecting them anyways in the crafting table open it and place a book number one like that in the middle and surrounded by book and quills like that that will make you eight uh, versions of number one now don't forget the original one repeat that again surrounded by books and quills and make another uh, eight 16 and one more time another eight and that's gonna make another eight that's the number of versions or number of versions yeah of book number one copies of the original this is the original do not waste it now do the same exact thing for book number two so basically 
basically you will need 24 of book number one and 24 copies of book number two surround book number two with book and quills and that's the first eight stack and surround it again that's the second eight stack and surround it one more time and that's the eight so 16 right here and eight and we're done here this is number one we're done with the books i mean there is still some things to do now these are the originals book one book two and these are the copies these are the copies of book one these are the copies of book two now what i want you to do is to go into the chest in the middle go to the 16 copies of book number one and place them in zigzag like that all right place them in zigzag all over the place there we go and then go to the 16 versions of book number two and place them in the empty places like that and we're done with this chest now go to this chest go to the eight stacks of book number one and eight stacks of book number two and that's it so basically there will be five uh, uh extra book and quills if you wanna save book and quills just make 45 not 50 i will just keep in mind that you will need to save three in book number two and uh, two in book number one so yeah you need to know this stuff now if you get any amount of diamond it could be a stack of 64 or it could be 10 diamonds whatever just make it 10 so we'll make it more realistic who the hell has 64 diamonds in survival i mean it happens anyways we have 10 diamonds in this chest now if we leave the game and save and quit then go back to the game and play selected world and we open this chest yeah the 10 diamonds are still there now let's take this diamond right here and go here and place a diamond right here and see what happens also save and quit and then open the game once more and you will see here that the diamond is not here and the diamond has moved into the chest out there so simple now here comes the trick for you to be able to uh duplicate the diamond and get infinite diamonds and survive first of all let me return the diamond uh, the amount of diamond into the previous chest right here there we go and then save and quit all right guys look i made a mistake there is a little bit of a technical difficulty and i was thinking of repeating the whole uh video again but i'm not exactly gonna do that i mean i'm gonna repeat the method again and show you the final result but i want to tell you what happened so you wouldn't fall in the same mistake okay so basically this method is not possible to be done in 1.16.5 because it was patched after 1.15 i knew that i knew that before i started making the video and what i was thinking is that i would just build it and then leave the game and right here in the release i'll go to 1.14.4 which is the last update after 1.15 and start the damn game and then simply go to single player go to my game and i knew that there could be a little bit of a risk of loading a game from a different update but i thought they will use the same seed right no it changes the seed i didn't really know that but when you go from one point six, i mean when you go from different versions i it usually uses the same seed but for some reason from 1.16 to 1.14 that that's a big uh gap so it changes the seed when you go to a different game that's ridiculous so here's the conclusion to this do not do that at all in 1.16.5. Before you start doing this method, only do it in 1.14.4. Do not do that in 1.16.5 because if you go back to that version, everything will just disappear. Anyways, I'll go back and create a new world. Of course, it has to be the dumbest world ever. I got them. I'll just go to a super flat world because I'm done with that. Okay, I'll repeat the same exact things I've done through this video and I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, I'm finished basically i did the same exact thing i did in the other save file the same exact thing and yeah if you take a look at these chests for an example here you'll find a stack of diamonds or 10 diamonds and here you'll find the arrangements and here you find the eight ones and eight twos that's where we left off so what i was showing you is that how this method works you take these 10 diamonds and then go and place them right here and then go and leave and go back to the game and you go here and you will find nothing in the chest and then uh diamonds in the chest so let's just take this diamond back and put it back right here so we concluded right here is that the game saves yeah let's go one more time and as you can see the game does save now what you want to do if you don't want the game to save you need to open the chest and scatter the copies of book number one like that yeah like that and then book number two place them like that and make sure that no book is next to another book one two one two two one two one no book is next to an identical book and then leave this chest and go to the chest and take the 10 diamonds and place them in this chest right here and after that just leave the game and go back to the save file and tada the diamond is still here and the diamond is here as well now repeat it again take these 10 diamonds and place them right here 20 diamonds and leave the game and go to the game again select world whatever and go to the chest out oh, the 10 diamonds are still here and the 20 diamonds are here so basically that's exactly how this method works and that's how you will make infinite and re uh, repeatedly infinite amount of diamonds let's do it one last time just to be sure so this chest is empty right here 
and this chest has 32 diamonds leave the game go back to the game once more and go to this chest right here the 10 diamonds are here and right here it's 30 diamonds so yeah it does work and if you ever wanna make the game start saving again you can simply go to this chest and stack these uh numbers again and the game will start uh, will start saving once more so basically like this chunk will start saving once you do that yeah as you can see eight of one copies and eight of two copies now if i take this diamond right here and place it right here 40 stacks leave the game open it again and you will see here there is nothing so basically yeah this uh chunk or this square chunk only saves if these things are scattered but if they are stacked like that together then they will not uh, it will save once more so it will only stop saving if these things are scattered and if they are together it will start saving again and yeah that's basically all about how to get infinite diamonds in this game you can do this trick on survival and in hardcore or whatever and you will keep getting infinite amount of diamonds kind of cool and yeah that's all about how to get infinite diamonds in this game and that's all that's what i see guys later bye